Sir. I have no present orders for you, Lieutenant. You may return to Boston. I'll be in contact when the situation changes. There must be someone who can help you in Concord. You lose your owner, buddy? Okay, then. Let's stick together. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? This sounds like a fool's errand to me. You're on your own. Then I suggest you get out of our way. <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Uh, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts. The detective. He's gone missing. Hey, you! Get this door open! But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. See you in Diamond City. I want to be left alone. That was maybe. I think it's I mean, it was definitely. I mean, she must go up. Yes. Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa, one case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat, make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just, they just... It's okay, you don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers, but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. So, you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. 
something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, uh... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had... some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who... killed my husband, he... had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but... that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like... like sandpaper. Cross your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Got it. Kellogg must have left something behind. The 
seem small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. Nick. Check out what's on that table. Gwyneth's stout beer. 44 caliber bullets. Cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. San Francisco Sunlight. Dog meat pick up the scent Kellogg's again? preferred brand, all right. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? It's an option. Somebody didn't want to get snuck up on here. No accounting for taste. When it's stout, one of his creature comforts. Dog meat find something? Okay, boy. Let's track him. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Damn. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. Tracking what have we here? Error. Exercise system corruption. I can't feel my legs.
What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He killed us. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. What do you think, boy? Huh? Was this our man? If our man out, let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. That's when I thought we were getting along.
Yeah, if it isn't my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years, but I don't need a roommate. Leave. <laughs> Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, I figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Detected. Curious. Hello. Be bothering anybody now. <laughs> Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not going to go your way. Want me to take a look at that terminal? You just say the word. Always out of way with machines. Sweet. Is someone present? Combat initiated, whoever or whatever you are. I know you are out there. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Hostile sensor. I'm in.
sweet. Stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. So maybe he's not quite a baby anymore, but he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Then you're gonna take me to him. Right now. Take you to him. <laughs> like I could, even if I wanted to. Don't you get it? Your son, he's in a place nobody can reach. Sean's safe at home. In the Institute. So where is it, huh? This Institute? How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again. You piece of shit. anyone else we should take a look around get all the intel this place can hide all this tech you were barely human are one with fists, wars with wits.
Hey, Valentine. So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. There has to be a way, Nick. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. I'll catch up later. All right. I'll see you in Diamond City. And don't worry. The night just got darker, but it can't last forever. Careful around the railings. It's a long way down. concern ourselves with that for now. Our present orders are to restore our industrial capacity. Can we do it? Should be able to, yeah. The factory was locked up years ago, so it should be in all right shape. Let's go take a look. Ah, Lieutenant, come with us. Understand this factory supplied most of our facilities on the East Coast. Yeah, that's right. Was quite the sight back in the day. Everything went along those rails up there. Then got sent up on the elevator, loaded onto the hopper, and shipped out. Was quite the operation. Given enough power and resources, we can make just about anything. Resources on the harbor should suffice for now. Start the facility. Right away. Follow me, Lieutenant. I could use your help. The factory's a little worse for wear, but all the important stuff looks fine. We had to shut it down a few years before evacuating the rig. And after Raven Rock went boom, we, uh... Didn't have any sites left to supply, anyway. 
The reactors were having a hard time feeding enough power here and to the labs. And those chemical core guys had orders from the top to keep working. So, we mothballed the factory, and that was that. Of course, those eggheads then went and... Let's see if I can get these lights back on. Ah, there we go. As for getting the factory itself running, looks like there's a couple things that need doing. I'm seeing about seven pipes around here with pressure leaks. I'm gonna need you to slap some duct tape on them for now. I'll fix them properly later. Then, there's a few circuit breakers that I'll need you to reset. And there's a production terminal in the manufactory that needs some love. I'll monitor the systems from here. Get that done, and I'll be able to restart the place. Everything's looking swell on my end. Going to engage the startup routine. Oil pressure good. Routing power. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Here, take a few of these requisitions. You can use them with the factory terminal to make yourself some goodies. I'll stay here and make sure things keep running smoothly. You should probably go find the general. 